Okay, uh, Chris Short laid down a little challenge to anyone who could recreate this particular tone that he uh, saw on YouTube with the Helix. Um, it was this tri-stereo chorus, Lando, Mike Lando style tone. Let's play a little bit here. So it was that kind of thing. Don't want to play too much of it now. But, uh, so I did my best. I didn't spend too long at this. So I'm just going to give you the, the dry. So I'm using the Mesa, the Cali, uh, Cali 4 clean channel. Be the closest thing to a Mesa quad that the guy in the video was using. That's going into, so the signal chain, if you can see on the video here, we got, um, we've got a compressor Dynacomp. This isn't engaged in a minute. That's a SD9. That's the Mark IV clean. I got a volume pedal. Got a studio compressor, which is what the guy in the video was using. He was using a, a DBX 160 compressor after his amp. Got a tri chorus, tri stereo chorus. Got a, some simple pitch here, dual pitch for detune. Got a dotted eighth note delay, that's the uh, vintage digital. Then I've got a quarter note delay, which is the vintage swell. Got a reverb here, which is the double tank. Dual cabs, uh, just Cali V30 cabs. He said he was using a 57 and a Sennheiser 421, so that's what we've got on each cab. And then a room reverb, just because I'm using studio monitors here. So this is the, that's the amp with the two compressors. Okay, so I'm gonna start knocking things on and um, individually. So this is the this is the double tank reverb first. Swell that. Um, so that's the reverb. Then we're going to knock on the detune. So this is the simple dual pitch. Simple pitch. Right then we got the tri stereo chorus. Can't play that lick. Uh, that's everything there and then we'll knock on the delays the two delays together give some swells the pitch there and just get, um, swap to said the Dynacomp this is an SD9 so there you go see what you think of that um, I'll store this and if anyone wants the preset they can uh, hit me up and I'll, I'll send it to them